you said you've been uh, making YouTube videos for about two years, huh? and um, you know, like I said, I I've enjoyed a lot of your fights, and I just think it would be fun to just like come together and talk about some things. I pulled some of the questions from from Reddit, and also just some ones that I think that are a hot topic among everyone who watches and reads Hajime no Ippo. So, uh, I'm thinking the... What fights do you think are going to be next? I think we got hit hinted on in this most current chapter about kind of the order that's going to go in, but what are your, like, personal thoughts about it? Uh, well, um, like, like we saw in the last chapter, I think, uh, Sendo and Mashiva are having their uh, fights very soon, actually. Um, Sendo, uh, he's going to fight uh, with Ricardo, and Mashiva is finally fighting the world champion. Either way, uh, I do I do agree with that. What specific order do you think is going to happen next? Like, between, like, I th I'm thinking the protests are going to be the first, and then the last being, like, Thendo versus Ricardo, because Ricardo just had a match. How would you, like, order it up? I think Mashiva's fight is coming next, because in the last chapter, I, I think it was uh, the manga panels, we're focusing on uh, Puerto Rico, I think. Uh, that, that is where the champion of the Mashivas division is, is from. I'm kind of expecting that fight because I don't know if about you, but Mashivas, uh, I, I have been liking him very recently. As a character, I think he has grown a lot. Yeah, I, I agree. I think he's, honestly, he probably has the best character development in the entire series. I mean, considering he came from, he was just this angry, hot-headed guy that was really protective of his sister, like, and just scary, not talkative, very antisocial, but he just liked the brawl, and that's all he really, like, cared about. And... You know, then this most recent chapter, like him saying, him thinking he's like, you know, how I, I'd never realized or I haven't realized in a long time. It was like, Evo is incredible. Like he had that such, it was such a big moment for him. Yes, exactly. Um, I think Mashiva won uh, kind of saying my heart when he recon finally recognized what Hippo, Hippo had to go through to get to the world level. Because it, it wasn't easy for Hippo. And Mashiva was kind of empathizing of what Hippo had to do, how harsh it was to fight a guy that could be a world champion. And how he went from this guy that was problematic in very alone person to this guy that will uh, make people proud of him. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like he's he's slowly started to realize those like where he's working now. Like he's been in a good spot for a while. I think he just hasn't prepared. Like he hasn't fully realized it. Like mentally realized it that you know he he has a nice boss his boss likes him all of his co-workers like him they come in to his fights you know he has this big fan group now um you know kumi is now like he she's out of college she's working now she's you know spending more time doing her own thing or hanging out with Epo and stuff like that so he's still he's starting to realize he's like i'm in a good place but yeah i do need help on this level i honestly think that since they described him in this last chapter as like a bulldozer opponent uh that he just kind of forced his way past uh, garcia and just kind of came in i'm thinking that ipo is going to be sparring with mashiba again because he repaid that favor from i think the saramora fight he asked to he asked to go against mashiba i i don't remember that was that was a long time ago but i know he helped him with that and 
he's retired, so it's not like he's fighting. So he might as well help him. And he was just just a second at a world title match. So I think he's gonna he's gonna come in and start helping Mashva a lot, change their dynamic maybe. Yes, I think uh, that is back then uh, a long time ago. Ipo sparred him, and it it was used to indi- indicate uh, because Ipo I think it was preparing. I don't know before the Pacific Champions or for his fight against Alfredo, but basically the point was that uh, Ipo's style of boxing was a problem actually because uh, Ipo was the kind of guy that always did the exact same thing. Um, getting uh, hit with, with, with the liver blow, and that was it. He, that's what, that was the thing that he always did. Even Mashiva recognized it. Um, and now I think it's a good chance to make another sparring with Ipo and Mashiva to see how much uh, Ipo has changed. Because, yes, we have been seeing how Ipo's style of boxing has been changing, how now he's kind of more a complete boxer. Uh, he now has an idea of how to make counter punches. So I think this is the right moment for um, Ipo Spar uh, Mashiva. Uh, you know, push him a little bit closer to get out of retirement. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I I was just thinking. I was like, uh, he's he's definitely come a long way, uh, and I think and I think it was like a it was a good character development move for Mashva to listen to Ipo about like certain things, like you know, like lifting up his guard and not you know being more defensive because it leaves you open to things that how he won the fight he you know he hit him with a like a right to the head and a right to the body and that's what basically did that and he's been trying to change his style but also do it with his long arms so he's been doing like you know the uppercuts and uh the chopping rights and just kind of mixing that up but i think that his biggest change and I'm working on a video right now about the top 10 strongest boxers. And I really thought about it, how Mashva, his existing weak weaknesses were kind of filled by this new style where he'll use this defensive style, but also use this long range style and kind of mixed in between them instead of being so open to like rights. So, and plus this is his ultimate test. If he can beat this guy that's at the world level, then uh, if I can, you know, if they have a really good, like, energy or really good matchup, and he's like, well, Ipo is, like, way stronger than, um, and be able to bul- bulldoze his way through, you know, like he did Florg, uh, you know, then it's gonna help him a lot and prepare him for his fight, you know. Yes, um, also because Ipo style has improved that much that he just, he isn't just another... Uh, in fighter, he's very he he's become very good at dodging punches, as we saw in the spar uh, that Ipo had against uh, Sendo. Uh, he can feint, he can counter, he can uh, do a lot of things that I think uh, it will help Mashiva a lot at the world level. But also, there is a thing that I have you forgot thought about is that. Um, the world champion uh, right now uh, is kind of what Mashiva was when he didn't care about committing faults uh, in the match. That I don't know if Ipo could help him, could help him uh, overcome that. Yeah, that, that's true. Because this guy throws in like every dirty throw he can. So. You know, I so I brought that up in in a poll here. Let me let me see what people said. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, he wanted to stop stop using uh, stop cheating and stop doing things uh, like he did in the Saramora fight in his last fight, and to be like a true boxer and stuff like that. Or is he gonna go back into his old ways and be able to street brawl and like get that 
evil side out of him, but I still think he's going to take the high road, and I think everyone agreed with me. Uh, here, let me pull it up real quick. Yes, because I'm pretty sure. if Mashiva started to commit fools again, um, it would be bad for him as a character, because as we saw in the Iga fight, uh, basically Mashiva was above that. He wasn't like he was when he fought Sawamura that he got very, very angry and tried to return every foul Sawamura did against him. So I think, yeah, Mashiba will do a better, a uh, better work, and he won't fall on committing faults. And do you do you think he will he will win that fight? I hope so, but, but I don't know because Hajime no Ippu, what always I like it about the anime and the manga is that you didn't exactly know how it was going to end. Yeah, yeah, true. And so 77% of voters voted that he wasn't going to cheat. So I do, I do agree with that. I don't think he's going to get back to that point. Um, he seems to have, you know, like like we said, he has he's had a lot of character development recently, and I think he's focusing on being uh, a person that Kumi can be proud of, and like he can be proud of himself if he takes things as far as he can. So, how I think it might be a rough fight. I think with if Ipo does help him, um, and pr- maybe even be one of his seconds in his corners at a world title match. So. You know, <laughs> if he's there again, I hope so be... because <laughs> in his last fight, Ippo helped him win with the yeah, advice yeah, he gave. Yeah. Him. So he I just yelled know. at him, <laughs> and Ippo is trying really hard to become a second. He, yeah, he's been doing a great job. He started with uh, Kimura, I think it was, and then Mashiva. So why not? Yeah, yeah, and you know, as you know. Uh, we'll get we'll get to other things where that might come up, but as far as your question about what I think if he's going to win, I think because he I, I think that Ipo is going to help him and like help train him and you know be able to stand up to bullfighters and to just like rushers, that I think he will be able to win. Uh, it might be a brutal fight and he might get like probably maybe the worst shape he's ever been in in after a fight before especially if he takes like elbows and you know forehead butts and maybe rabid punches you know like ones in the back of the head like apparently he does everything so you know apparently he's in prison i think that's what the manga is yeah. he's currently yeah. in prison they're either waiting for him to get out or something like that so, uh i would imagine it might be like you know you know, Mike Tyson coming out of prison, you know, we did, and he's like, oh, I'm, st- I'm still the heavyweight. I was like, I don't know what you, I don't know what you think. I was like, and he just still came out, and he was just like, you know, bigger, stronger, but it has like a different mental mindset. Yeah, I think it will be kind of sad that it will be like that moment when Mike Tyson came out of the prison, and he, he had a fight, that I think it will be kind of very intimidating for the audience, but I don't think uh, Mashiach will get intimidated about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I think it's, I think it would be cool to have, like, you know, the Japanese Grim Reaper versus, you know, the, I don't, I don't think, we didn't even hear what, if he had a nickname, he was just, oh, the wild child of Puerto Rico, that's what, that's what it was. Yeah, that supposedly, the only, the only crime that he, he, he supposedly didn't ha- haven't commit yet it's murder murder but who knows who knows <laughs> yeah yeah it's exactly. kind of crazy I'll, um but what do you think i mean we don't know anything about the other guy besides like his background so potentially he could be a you know even stronger than we realize well strong he will be because as we saw um he basically defeated uh, Garcia on his own range. Uh, he is a in fighter, so it will be a very rough fight. Do you, do you yeah, think true. it will be as crazy as 
the fight against Sawamura was because that was a wild fight. Uh, I I really I read it recently. It was very crazy. Yeah. Um. I think he, I mean he definitely had a personal agenda against Sawamura for like punch almost punching his sister, and just being you know just how he acted and stuff like that. How. Uh, he just ended up turning it into a brawl and then he was like you want to cheat i guess i will too i was like i'll hit your ass out of the ring i was like i don't care uh and you know him getting his license suspended and you know he's you know says i don't want to get suspended again and you know then if i do win then i take my belt away or it's an automatic loss or i definitely think that it'd probably be a difficult match but I don't know. I think he. I think he has the will to be able to push through that situation if he doesn't want to cheat and just kind of take it how he can. I mean, he can lean his body back really, really far to avoid damage. So hopefully, he can, you know, figure out a way to be able to do that from, you know, probably a smaller opponent like his opponents usually are. Do you think it will pass uh, six round? I don't think it will it will be a very long fight. Cause no, I, taking I in account that, that they are too brutal to have a twelve round match. Yeah, I was like they're hitting elbows and headbutts and everything like that. I was like I can't imagine like it's gonna be a bloody match. I I would have realized unless like him going through this training transition in order to become like really strong and in fighting. To be able to like you know guard off you know people like Epo um, and maybe realize more you know uh, focus more on his height difference and his be his able to like dodge and dodge back from smaller opponents and just kind of keep them at bay and if they get really too close to that bay then he has his defensive kind of stance where he can make that you know invisible uppercut or or smash way you want to call it yeah because we can't ignore that uh, mashiva has the, the physical advantage he's always been the larger guy so he has long arms he can kind of um, create the space more easily yeah and he, has a good, like he he's always had a good footwork Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, and we saw in his last fight how he's able to punch from that position into not just in a short, like, uppercut, um, but hit to the body, too, so he can go after either of them. And if he has to be really defensive that way, which I think is uh, why why in my one of my lists that I'm not going to name off exactly what number he is on my list I'm working on, but he's he's pretty high up there in like my top box rank just because he can he can transition between you know his hitman style and his defensive style really easily. So he can keep switching it up on him, making him question everything and change the distance so it's harder to come in and you know everything like this. But um I th I personally think that the next fights that I think are going to happen Oh, I, I kind of agree with you too. I think it's going to be the pro the protests. Then it's going to be the Kamigawa gym lineup with Takamaru. Takamaru. <laughs> I got a flame about that for one of my videos. <laughs> Messing up his name. Uh, Mamoru and... Takamura. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then Kimura Itagaki. And possibly Aoki. I'm, I'm, gonna, hoping, I'm, gonna say I'm hoping Aoki gets his revenge against Ego. I yeah. hope so. And I think after this recent matchup, after the the Kamigawa Gym card lineup, then we're gonna head to uh, Mashiba. And then after that, I imagine it'd be long enough for. Maybe the Sendo versus Ricardo, but Sendo, I, Sendo versus Ricardo. I don't think it will happen that soon because that's a big fight. Uh, this is this is a fight because um, 
it's basically uh, the best uh, fighter we have seen so far against Sendos, a character that has come a really long journey. That has, yeah, yeah. At, at some point, people call the manga Hajime no Sendo, so it's a big fight. <laughs> yeah. It can happen that soon, and I think, I hope it's uh, one of the greatest fights we'll ever see in this manga. I hope so. True, true. And since we're on that type of topic, one of the other questions is, do you think Sendo will win or lose? I don't think Sendo is winning that fight. Uh, mm, just because uh, uh, narrative is speaking, because that fight has a lot of meaning, because Ippo was supposedly to uh, meet Alfred and then Ricardo was next uh, uh, back then. So, you know, if, if Ricardo uh, loses to Sendo, what, 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 would, what would happen with Ricardo? Ricardo would, won't be that figure that is invincible, that has a perfect record, that is a legend, but at the same time has that uh, similarities with Ippo. Have you noticed that? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, I I did read the one that well slightly earlier in the chapters where they had the same motivation for boxing at the same time. Like, how does it feel to be strong? You know, they could be coming up from like the same kind of issues where like maybe Bill was the one that raised him. And he, you know, didn't have any parents, so he kind of, you know, Bill just kind of became his father, and and he was, and he, and he was, uh, you know, trained him to be boxing because he was just in Mexico, and you know, he had a pretty good talent for yeah at the beginning, so they just kept on. Um, that could be his background per se. Oh, Sendo, the only way he potentially can win is if he gets, like, a lucky, like, 100%, like, shot at Ricardo, if he's able to get that at least once during the round. But just thinking about how... Knowing how much Sendo's willing to push things in order to get the most out of his opponent and how he's just relentless like a tiger, if, uh... I think yeah, Sendo will, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, is Sendo will make Ricardo wild, uh, because uh, at the end of the Wally fight that he had against him, we could see for a moment how uh, sadistic uh, Ricardo could be. And I think Sendo is the kind of guy that, that can bring that out of him. Yeah, and I just don't think he would stop until he, he, like, he would literally, he's gonna go until he's, like, KO'd, like, knocked out, so, potentially in, from his previous fight with, uh, Alfredo versus Sendo, he was saying, like, oh, no, Alfredo made the, made, made the mistake, Throw no, Sendo's throwing out tens all the time, so stacking up ones and twos against him, just to, like, just to smack him around a bit, like isn't doing anything and once he you know hits you a couple times and it's gonna you know turn the tides of the battle so i think he's gonna come out strong like and just nail him with his left constantly anytime he can and then throw heavy heavy rights to you know take try to take him down because it's it i don't think it's gonna end without a ko <laughs> yeah i have this kind of image of what the fight will be uh, taking into account uh, the spar uh, that happened in game uh, we in, with uh, Sendo in Ricardo, in what he said on the on the fight he had against Alfredo, uh, because on the spar that uh, we saw against uh, Ricardo, uh, Sendo was throwing very wild shots while uh, Ricardo was landing a lot of his left. Um, in the first fight. As, like you said, uh, it was a mistake going with ones and twos against uh, Sendo. So 
I think the best option uh, Ricardo has against uh, Sendo is that he goes with all he with all he has at the very beginning of the fight. So I, I think the fight it won't be that long either because um, it will be very intense for the um, from the beginning. Yeah, like I see like a worse version of. Ipo versus Alfredo, like a worse version. Like, like you don't know. Like no one knows how this man's still standing with taking all these hits. And there's like no defense. It, his biggest weak weakness is his defense. He doesn't really have one. He's like, I'm a, I'm a punch you. I'll punch you real hard with these knuckles. Yeah. Well, and- no, not exactly <laughs> because. Well, this is a thing that he was very. Uh, criticized uh, when the Alfredo versus Sendo fight happened, that uh, Sendo in one point he got a spar against Miyata, that in he showed that he has a very good uh, defense against jabs and things like that. So I don't know what kind of version we will see in the Ricardo fight. I kind of expecting what Sendo will do because. Um, we have to take in account also that Sendo was with the mentality that he wanted to bring the wild out of uh, Alfredo because he wanted to experience uh, the guy who knocked out Makonochi Ipo. So I don't think, uh, I don't know if Sendo will do the same as he did with Alfredo. Maybe he will be more deceptive. He will have better defense against Ricardo. Yeah, maybe like you know, one of the only times we'll ever see like Sendo have a regular stance instead of like a wide open stance. He's like, oh, he's actually, <laughs> you know, he's using the shortest route possible in actual boxing instead of, uh, instead of uh, oh, what's what's the guy's name? Um, I forgot. He uh, he he just threw like uh, oh yeah. I think it's just based off him, the Rocky Marciano, where he just like it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, hitting heads or hitting them in the in the stomachs. But you know, but instead he has the more of like a you know calm, and maybe he like will throw him off guard by being more like being more perceptive of things. But I don't know. I just hope that he won't take that that much damage from Ricardo because he could exchange punches with Alfredo, but I he will be able to do the same with Ricardo. Ricardo is yeah. another beast. I don't. I'm not sure how uh, how, how strong were Ricardo punches because I think. There are kind of the same level as Makunochi's. Because even yeah, us all we know like, like a heavy punch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, <laughs> definitely probably bring out a side we haven't seen yet because, you know, him just trying to feel, you know, like he's testing his strength that I think definitely having someone that can hit really hard but also take really hard hits because he has a high durability and be able to eventually start adapting to you and um, being able to use his uh, his instincts to be able to dodge you instead of you know and that's what makes up that's what he said that makes up his for his lack of lack of defense really is he's able to cone his instincts which i think he's the best boxer in the series if you had to rank some people based off like their fighting instincts you know maybe maybe takamura just takamaru i'm gonna get flamed about that again man they're gonna be like dude you should say it right one of these days <laughs> um <laughs> speaking of takamaru uh do you th- how do you think that he's gonna progress like do you think he's gonna get like all six titles is he gonna retire before then? And how do you see like him pro- him progressing? I know he has a title defense being up, and you know that he has to do for his a title defense. And I think it's ironic that Sendo keeps saying, you know, does 
you know, undefeated doesn't mean you're invincible because you just haven't fought me yet. And so, like, he keeps saying that in the manga. I'm like, is this foreshadowing? Like, are you foreshadowing me, bro? Like, that Takamaru was just going to lose or just randomly and have to, like, you know, get a title defense back and so, or have to, if he does that, then he's going to fight someone else that's going to hurt him even more. But what do, what do you think? What happens with Takamura's uh, undefeated streak is that if Takamura loses, that's got to be uh, a point in the manga that a lot of things changes because Takamura has always been this uh, pillar, I don't know if I said it correctly, correctly in English, that is uh, kind of an idol of what a boxer is the, because uh, he's always been the perfect mix and between uh, science and instincts about boxing. So if Takamura ever gets to lose, that's a big thing in the manga. Because uh, we've been uh, 1,400 chapters in Takamura has never lost. So if Takamura loses, that's going to be a big event. I don't think, uh, what was his name, uh, the author of the manga, uh, Morikawa. I don't think Morikawa is going to make Takamura lose. So out of nowhere, it's going to be a very big event, a pretty, a pretty big event. I don't know if I said Yeah, I definitely think that he's going to win his title defense, but I just question if he's going to get all six of his, like, all six of the world titles that he said he was going to before he's going to be forced to retire. Uh, you know, just like his, it's pretty obvious his health is getting pretty bad and he's, you know, he's taking a lot more damage and it's pretty obvious about the effects and his long vacations. I think he, if he just got like five belts or something like that and just didn't do a, a six, uh, maybe like Evo can like pick up the torch there and be like, yeah, I can I can get a six. Or if he's gonna be able to be forced to retire after he gets all six, but he's I'm not sure. A super middleweight, right? Yes, I think he has. What because was it? after that, there four is belts and three divisions: light heavyweight, cruiserweight, yeah. and heavyweight. Heavyweight is the top goal, I think. <laughs> If Takapuna yeah. ever gets to lose, it's got to be the heavyweight fight or something crazy like that. I, uh, I think I have, have you for, I have you, I have been thinking. Um, Takamura has always defended his titles one time, right? Then he moves to the net to the next uh, weight, right? Um, I think. I don't think he has. I think he. And plus, I think the rules are kind of different where it comes to, like, you can relinquish a belt and, like, re, like retain it, but you have to retire from the from the division as the champion um, in order to move up different weights. But uh, I think... Yeah, uh, what I was meaning is that um, we have, we've, we've seen Takamura defend his titles because uh, Coach Kamogawa always thinks that um, Takamura has to face a challenge in order to progress. So, um... Oh yeah, I wasn't sure if it was that one time that he was like... I was saying about uh, Kamogawa always trying to not just go to the next, uh, to the next weight class and go for the world title. Uh, that he always wants Takamura to face a challenge in the division defending his title, then move to the next. I think it's always been that kind of partner. Yeah, I mean, it might be... I think Takamura is really against it, so whenever he can get out of it, then he will, but uh, I don't know if there was that one time that he, he made it so he had to, or if it's every time. Uh, I think it might be, or especially if he's trying to prevent him from going, doing any more, like, uh, like not going too, 
uh, too short in between fights or anything like that and getting messed up really bad and instead of going against an opponent that might be challenging, but it won't be as severe as in like going from champion to champion and getting his whatever condition uh, in his leg, you know, not have enough time to rest or in between. Yeah, um, if we take a look of the journey Takamura has been going through, he is halfway uh, a six world title conquest. Um, he's got uh, super welterweight, middleweight, super middleweight, and there will there would be left like heavyweight, cruiserweight, and heavyweight. And I bring this up because uh, I don't know if you you have seen it that uh, Morikawa, the author, has said that he has already planned what the, fi uh, the final chapter of the manga will be because uh, we are uh, if you take a look of the histories that Morikawa has been developing I think Takamura's is the longest yet to finish because we have a uh, Sendo's story uh, near with the fight against Ricardo. Machiva against the world champion for Puerto Rico. Uh, Takamura has, have, has left uh, three divisions to, conquest, to conquer. And Ipo is every time near from getting off of retirement. Yeah, yeah, true. I mean, I I heard that he already had it planned, but I wasn't sure like because I didn't I didn't know any like sources or there was like nothing that I've like read that actually came in from him. So I'm just trying to be open and uh, skeptical. I'm not really sure if it was actually true, but if it is true, then you know it definitely can be. Or he just has like a general outline of like each fight so what are going to happen and then who's supposed to win those fights because he often goes on you know little hiatuses in between matches to i think watch some like legacy fights or wa watch things that are like currently happening happening in japan um and just kind of build off that and be like okay this would be a good way for this to play out i don't know if he if he does it specifically like that but that might be something like he knows the ending of who's supposed to win and he knows, like, each in order what the fights are going to be up until the very end. So he might already have it mapped out to know the ending to everything. So, And I thought it was... Here, let me pull up my notes again. I think I... Uh, think I have it. I thought he was at four... Yeah, I think he had four belts and... Yeah, you're right. Four belts in three different weight divisions. Because he has a unification in one. That's right. So he is he is halfway done. Uh, what do you think is going to be like the main thing that brings Ipo back into the ring and being active again? I don't know exactly because I think there are two ways to go with Ipo. Either Sendo and Mashiva become world champions and Ipo feel the fire on him that he wants to be a world champion too maybe or that he he can do more than he's doing right now that he kind of he's just a second he he in the last chapter i think we saw that everyone everybody had a match coming up but Ipo was like having nothing so that's one way that everyone wins in he kind of feel that he wants to do something with that too. That since he's always loved boxing and he thinks he has something more to offer. Or everybody loses and he thinks that because he's not only a great box, boxer right now, he's also has been studying uh, boxing. He's learned a lot that he hasn't put to test actually in a real fight. So may maybe if, no, I don't know, Sendo loses since he's in the same weight class as him. Uh, he wants to take on the challenge of coming back to boxing in 
Win Against Ricardo, that has always been this goal very far away that he he could aspire to do. Or that those are two, the those are the two ways I see happening with Dipo. Yeah, you know, like he's 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 like he's like a legendary coach, and he's just surrounded by people that he knows that are all world champions. To be like, yo, but this one time, like I was I was worth sparring, and I almost knocked this guy out, and like he 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 almost knocked me out. You know, and I'm an active world champion at the time. I was like, Ipo, you should get back into boxing, man. I was like, you should try, you should just go for it, go after him, go after like go fight Sendo again. I was like, you know, maybe he, he, you know, maybe, he wanted to maybe do what he meant in. to be strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what if they're like, oh, what if, that'd be that'd be a big wrench in the plan if Sendo magically comes up and like able to smash his face with one hit, and then he becomes the active world champion, and he's like, <laughs> but there's one guy, there's one guy that I <laughs> that it, I haven't it won again. Like in 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 their second fight, that Sendo was the champion of Japan. But he had he had lost against one guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Where it's like, but there was this one guy. So, uh, would, but yeah, it's really like, either going to be something. Sorry, it's sorry. either going to be something really positive that someone's going to like get him to come back or have a serious conversation about him to come back, or it's going to be forced on him. So you know, you either like. You know, you have a fire, so you either like try to breathe air into it, or you just put on something flammable. You know, and I was like, then it erupts, you know, bigger. But you can just fan the flame, and it can be, you know, do the same thing, and eventually have come like have a fire come out. So he's either gonna get like, you know, talking to maybe from Kumi, and you know, maybe the other world champions that he's been helping, helping. Um, Maybe his mother say, you know, I was like, I have plenty of help because your boxers come over all the time and help me with the business. So, you know, I don't need your help as much, you know, if they keep helping all the time, you know, to train or something like that. And he has his mother's support and Kui eventually comes around and, you know, all the other boxers that are like, dude, you're, you're, you're super strong still. And I was like, you, you know, you're, you run everywhere, like everywhere. Like you, I see you running back with groceries on a daily basis, like, you know, or, you know, <laughs> uh, like he's, sh- he should just go back into the ring or having something like the, like the coach dying, you know, to bring him back and have it like being a more vengeful style, like, uh, like Date kind of, uh, speaking of like coach, like dying, do you, do you think he's going to die or what do you think that's going to, how that's going to unfold? I don't know if, that, if if Morikawa would do that of killing one of his characters or one of his mains because well he's written character that has died like the girl in the Kamogawa and ah uh, I forgot his name uh, uh Yuki 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 that girl uh, he's written a character that has died so I don't know if he, if Morikawa would would this would do the same again uh, with a, car, a main character like Kamogawa. But I think, like we ha- we have seen Kamogawa, he's old, he's 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 having problems with it, with his health. So maybe that would be a call of attention for Ipo in some point when yeah. Kamogawa can hide that uh, for much longer. So maybe yeah. there will be a. Po- Point that Ipo says, damn, uh, Kamogawa is very bad in health. Maybe I should bring him something yeah, like, before he passes away. I don't know. I'm just talking things about yeah. Peter. Maybe yeah, yeah. That definitely. will be one of the points that Ipo says, I gotta come back. Yeah, like, you know, if he's, if he's bedridden or for all this time, uh, Takamura and Kamogawa have been keeping this a secret from Ippo because they knew how much it would affect him that, you know, if he had something terminal that was affecting his health or something like that, where he'd still be able to be active, but you don't know how many, like, years he has, per se. Um, Because there's been, like, some hints about that where, you know, like, um, like, Takamura uh, praying and stuff like that where he's like i'm not praying for my match i don't care about that but if there's some things that you know 
the gods can control, then, you know, I, I do have a wish or something like that. So maybe we, it's been preluding to him all the time. Like, you know, he, he takes the coach to, you know, somewhere and travels with him. And that's why he travels for, for a while afterwards, you know, cause we, he's very, he's very almost mysterious now. Um, you know, he always does these things where he's not entirely sure, like all these unanswered questions about him that, you know, it could tie into, you know, the coach is actually terminal and we just don't know. Could be interesting if Morikawa does something with Takamura going on travel uh, every certain time because uh, we won't, we won't saw what Takamura used to do back then. Uh, he went to the mountains and he spent there. <laughs> I remember this chapter where he had something to do with monkeys. I, I don't remember. It's been a lot of chapters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the sauna, the sauna or whatever. That, or the, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think it would be like cool. That, I don't know. Maybe he goes somewhere trying to find, us, I don't know, a cure for Kamawa. I don't know. It would be cool if he's doing something with that time where he's with no one. Uh, so. A question from from Reddit is, uh, is do you think Takamura is right in the most recent chapter? Uh, do you think that Stendo and Mashba are are really strong, but they're they're lacking something? Like, do you think they will both lose? Do you think? One will lose, one will win. I I think we kind of went over it, but I would say what would be like your definite like? Do you think he's right? It comes to what moves them, what moves them because um, Sendo has always been the kind of guy that he wants to fight the strongest guy there is, and that's that has uh, get him very far, very far. Uh, at this point, but Mashiva has a different motivation. He he's doing he's doing it for him, for for everyone around him, for for his sister. So if you ask me, who has the chances to lose their net fights? I think it would be Sendo. I don't know if that desire of fighting the strongest guy is enough to beat a world champion. Yeah, so you think Sendo is going to lose and Mashiba is going to win? I'm sadly thinking that. Yeah, I, I think I tend to agree. I mean, they both... I mean, the only blemish on both of their records, Zippo, and so they might get some, you know, um, some humility and stuff like that and be like, you know, Sendo was shut down, but he all he wanted to do was fight, and so even if he loses, then you know, it can lead to other things like if it gets real bad, he can be more like, more punch drunk symptoms and be like, okay, well, I fought the toughest guy in the world and, you know, it was awesome but I'm going to retire. Uh, and, you know, or it could be like, he could still be in the game but just like, still want to fight other people I still think that he is going to lose. He just is in a really bad setup, and I don't think that he would want like a legendary boxer like Ricardo to lose. I imagine, if anything, if he eventually just was like, ah, you know what? I retire. It's, it's been a good run. You know, I've had this many wins, and I haven't lost. I just kind of want to shake things up. You know, might might be something big that can, you know, uh, being in the story, and as far as Mashba, I he could potentially get some, you know, additional character development if he does actually lose, and maybe if he you know, doesn't want to admit to himself or he's too like proud of himself to like ask Evo for help or something like that. If he loses against him, you know, then he's like, no, like I want to win. I'll do anything to win. So you know, and he's like. And I, in my video, I predicted, I was like, maybe it's a character development for him to kind of get Kumi and Ippo together without him having to write romance because he doesn't really care for romance. 
as far as I've heard. So it'd be a way like, hey, you can start dating my sister and I'll allow it if, you know, if you help me with defeating this guy that's just, you know, you know, pure evil or just like he's the worst of worst boxers. And I know that, you know, that's something important to you and it's important to me. And I have a reason that I want to be the world champion. And it'd be like a character, a lot of character growth for him there too. I have, I have always liked it, Sendo, because he's the kind of guy that even if he loses, since he knows he did his best, he always uh, get out, gets out of the, of the ring with his, I don't know how to say it, with his head high, I don't know. Um, yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's not ashamed. Uh, I think I, I really like it when Sendo lost to Ipo on their second and or the on their second fight that even if he lost by a kill he he was very proud right about what he did and was kind of sad because he disappointed uh, his people yeah, and about exactly. and about Noshiba I don't know what exactly uh, it's left for him to get developed because I think it started that about um, because he's always uh, been a character that wanted to do every, everything alone and slowly but surely he's he's been recognizing that he's not alone he doesn't fight alone in the ring he has a he has people that cheers for him recently did that thing about recognizing the efforts Hippo, Hippo has put on his career, that he wasn't someone weak that lost. He was something, he was someone that did everything he could, but sadly he didn't get that far. So I don't know what a loss would cause in Mashiva at this point. Yeah, but, but like I said but before, I think Ibo is going to help him either way. Um, I think he's already learned that lesson that he can depend on him from just all the stuff he's done so far. So I think he's going to win too. So I think it's Sendo. I think I agree with you. Ipo is going to try. I, I know that. <laughs> he's got kind of. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, I, I agree with you. I do think that Sendo is going to lose and Mashba is going to win. I think. I think we already kind of went over this one, but. In all the matches that are coming up, um, I I'm thinking that the like how the next matches are going, like the predictions for it. I would say that the two rookies for their protest are going to do like shockingly well because the other times that they went against people um, for sparring lessons, they were basically pros already because they just kind of wanted to haze them for being EPO students since they're still kind of sore. So, and if they're like, no, we're going to get a knockout and stuff like that, and they're hitting really hard because of how EPO trains him, how they, you know, basically force them to be able to punch straight and hard um, just because of how he holds the mitts to be able to catch, the, he literally, you know, catches the punch now. So, he, you know, he does that. Uh... And, you know, maybe that would be good for their development. So I think they would both win, do really well there. Um, proving that, you know, what Evo is doing is right. Like, he's becoming a, a good coach and a good, you know, second. Uh, and then Itagaki, I, we don't know anything about his opponent. He's been in a rut lately. I hope he could, he's going to win, but I'm not entirely sure just because we don't know the opponent. Uh, Kimura, he's been, I don't know, he's been kind of in the in the middle for a long time. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they pull out a win. Uh, Aoki pulls out a win, so he might be able to challenge Iga. Um, and Takamaru, I, I think we both agreed earlier that I, I also think is going to win his title defense. I don't think that Takamura is going to lose. Um, about the Ipo's students, I also think they are going to do pretty well because that sparring that they had with the amateurs that 
they have been training their whole lives basically that wasn't fair that wasn't fair they they recently uh, started boxing with a coach that also started recently with their with his lessons so i think for the protest they will do right i think in amis i very interested in what kind of style they have because i think we we have not seen how they box uh, so far and about itagaki yeah that's true i hope he realizes that if he ever gets to be the genius that had this kind of supernatural power of seeing everything very slow that he doesn't forget that he doesn't forget that he can be that cocky in a boxing ring because what uh, he might did back then was a very solid plan that itaraki could, could have perfectly uh, avoid and also about kimura um, do you ever think he's going to get the opportunity of being japan's champion i hope he does because uh, because he's always with that this guy that isn't that good but he's good so i hope he gets that yeah yeah i mean he had a really good fight against mashba and then he's kind of just he he seems to have like a really big problem with weight control now. I don't know if I don't know how old how old he is in the series now, but it seems like it his weight control gets worse and worse every time. So I'm not sure. I mean, it might entirely depend on his uh, his health coming out. Um, at you know, if he uh, when he weighs in to see how bad he is. But I, I definitely think he has the potential. I just kind of wish he was uh, trained by maybe a different coach or something like that. Like maybe focus on specific things. I hope he gets at least a shot at a, you know at the world title fight. But you know I don't know how long him or Aoki are going to be like around. Um, you know they've talked a lot about retiring and stuff like that, but. Um, and Itagaki, you know, he's been this right, like, you know, he's like, oh, I, you know, he's never going to be back. Ipo's never going to be back. You know, I, I'm trying to do things better than, than him and stuff like that. But I, you know, I'm never going to be able to challenge him and just being in this rut recently. I do think he, I hope he gets over it also. Or it's just like, you know, it's like focus on like your goals. You know, maybe it's like, maybe you want to beat, you know, Miata. So, you know, you, you focus on something different that you have a passion for. And because that, that was what Ipo was missing. All he wanted to do was do things for the coach, make him proud and, you know, try to be strong. He didn't have like a firm goal. He never, he, I don't think he ever once said that he wanted to beat Ricardo. Um, you know, he's just like doing every, absolute every, everything he can and, you know, using everything he learned. He didn't really have that passion. Maybe that's where Itigaki needs to get. I wonder if uh, Morikawa will do anything with um, that he, he might said to Itagaki at one, at one point that the problem Itagaki had was that he stayed in the same gym as Makunouchi Ipo uh, because uh, he got kind of obsessed when it came to bet his records, uh, defeating the same opponents in the sh in a shorter time. Do you think Itaki at some point will leave the gym? I don't know if he will do that at this point of the story of the story when he's he's more he's less cocky. He's he's been on the on this level that. He he believes he's not that good, so he's being kind of kind of hanging in there. Yeah, I I went a little bit into this in the review. I know I got some comments stuff like that too uh, about uh, if Ipo did come back and he's like, oh my god, he's back. He like, maybe this might be my only chance. Uh, 
I and eventually leaves the gym because the rule there is, you know, if you're you can't challenge someone that's in your own gym uh, to a fight, which I get because that's for you know, so they can't like, um, was it like sandbag or they can't like cheat or anything like that when the betting is going on uh, to prevent that kind of stuff. And I think it might be good for his character development because I put put in the video that his current I forget I forget his name the his current coach. Uh, the one that helps with you know, all the other boxers. Um, I I don't think he's he's a good enough coach to really bring out the full capabilities of Itagaki. So if he does leave the gym because he wants to challenge Ippo, um, he could go to you know he can go to Miata's dad and ask him because his his style is exactly is it it's like a wild. It's like a wild boy, but Miata just kind of had a baby. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, Wally, Wally and Miata just had a baby, and it was kind of Itagaki. Um, but a very tiled, don't dial down version. You know how Superman isn't really very strong until he comes up against, like, a strong opponent, and it brings it out of him? You know, that might be, you know, where he's at right now. But if he went to Miata's dad and be like, oh, work on these counter punches, these are the kind of things you want to do, and does every, all the things that um, that Miata does, then it could bring out, you know, his true capabilities. Maybe even, you know, maybe do a match against the current champion and make it a, I think it'd be their third or fourth time that they fought each other in the series. And to give to get the first rights to be able to... Uh, um, have a match with Ippo. So they're both throwing in their all. You know, Mr. One Rounder versus his his nemesis that he's had forever, Itagaki, that wants to challenge Ippo and prevent um, Aimi. I, I think it's I, Aimi because um, he doesn't want him to challenge Ippo. Like, he wants to be that barrier. So I think it'd be good good character development and you know bring a lot to the story so i i kind of hope it does i kind of miss the time when when itagaki did these amazing fights against um one of them was Aiki, i don't remember karasawa karasawa was the name um, and yeah i think uh, the best coach he would have uh, would be uh, miyata's dad because i think Thing that said in the series is that their styles are kind of similar, but Itaki is, is more defensive. It, it it has that tendency. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I guess this would be uh, the last question. Would be good to go over is from here the most current chapter. How do you see the story progressing? Like. How would you kind of line up what's going to happen to, as it all is laid out, like we think it is? So so far we have a, so far the story is. Um, I think Sendo will lose and there is Ricard. Shiva has the chances. I, I think it will be a tough fight. It will be a another piece of character develop, development for Mashiva. I hope the students uh, Ipo has uh, surpass their protest. It's it's been a while since uh, they have been there. In a thing I I have seen the community comment about them is that we don't have uh, anything to care about them. He's been there. They have been around for like. 100, 200 character, uh, chapters, so it's finally their time to shine. Um, yeah, I really hope Ippo finally realizes after the Sendo in Mashiva fight that he has to get back in the ring. Yeah, I, I agree that too. If anything, if all that stuff does happen, and then because I don't, we haven't focused on Miata in a really long time i feel like i can't even remember the last one i think his last fight was like a him versus uh what was his name um 
the Ashura guy, the the guy that does like switches. Bradley I forgot Bush. Jimmy. No, not Jimmy. Um, Bradley Wood Junior. Yeah, be- yeah, him. I thought that was the last fight. We in detail saw what happened. It was a very important fight for that character. But um, after that, we know he's been fighting other people. But there has been this thing that the only reason he's not leaving the division and moving up or vacating the OPBF title is because he has that hope that Ipo is going to come back. And I don't know, at this point, if you ask me, I kind of, I am kind of a hater of, of Miyata because, uh, I don't know, I, I have always seen Sendo like, as his actual rival. But anyway, anything that happens with Miyata, I just hope it makes the history more interesting. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's just been a long time since we've seen him. So if something happens, like, we go over to another fight of his before something happens and something really dramatic happens. And then we cut back to everybody where it's the the aftermath of, you know, Mash- Mashva becoming champion, Seno's loss, um, everyone with, like, newfound confidence that are going up the ranks that in the Kam- uh, Kamigawa gym. And then Miata is something you know, something bad happening to him so that he has to, you know, he's he has to hang on while, you know, if Ebo comes back, uh, or he has to be forced to retire for some reason, that'd be another reason that, you know, drama happens, and so, <laughs> therefore, I have to do this. We need uh, drama for Ebo to come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, like like someone's other uh, like, comments, it was like, you know, if, yeah, you have to, in order to bring the wind god back, you have to cause a storm. So, you know, maybe this is the metaphorical storm that you know, has to happen where we find out, find out that Kamigawa is sick. We, you know, we go to different championships. People lose, people win, you know, and, you know, something happens to Miata. So at least that's, that might be where it's going. Because um, I have the, all the same kind of, uh, ideas as you. That's how I kind of see the story progressing. Uh, like I put in my video that you know maybe he's going like Ipo will be up in a different in a couple different weight classes or something like that because he knows all the other champions. Uh, since then, I mean, it'd be interesting to see. I it was more for like a drama- like if something was really it was going to be really dramatic for Ricardo versus Ipo at the very end, or it's more something like. Maybe, you know, he loses and he makes important lessons uh, for Ipo. Like, maybe the answer to being strong is being able to lose with dignity, knowing you put um, put everything out there and did absolutely everything you could with all your heart. And, you know, and then accepting that loss. Maybe that's the true strength, you know? And being more of like a, like a moral lesson or something like that instead of being like, you know, the power of friendship, um, <laughs> you know, um, that a lot of animes do. So oh maybe it might go that way. Working on that a lot, uh, all this time, I don't, he won't go that way. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 